All right, in comes the ball, does it? Yep. Bounces out in favour of the home team, but Ernesto, Ernesto picks it up somehow. Dan trying to steal it from him. Still fishing around there. Nobody's actually moved that ball. Ernesto's got a touch on it. And Rory Torrey's got hold of it now. Rory, Rory turning. I believe this horse he's riding is Kathy Got Even. I would love to know the story of naming that pony. Uh, uh, that's Rory's horse. Over there now, Megan. No, she hasn't got it. Little backhand from uh, Rick Salter, I believe. And Amanda Paul picks it up on the Grey Pony for Boston. She's going forward. Nice shot from Herb. Gets her within 30, 20 yards. She just needs to tap it. She does very neatly. And Boston taking a commanding three-goal lead, 5-2 to two against the home team. They haven't started. They need some of that. Uh, we had the Colombian team here, one of the opening matches of the season, first time they've been here. And I think the Newport team needs some of that coffee they grow in Colombia. Apparently it's very good coffee. But it's exciting to have the Irish in a couple of weeks. That's always a fun match. Sadly, I will be in England. So I'll miss them, but it's just the one game I'm going to miss this season. All right, where we got Rory trying to hook Amanda, I believe. Amanda doing well and evades the hook. She's got Sam Shaw marking her at the moment. She does well. Can Sam or Rory get onto this? No, nope, nobody can. Dan does well and hooks the stick. But I think I heard a whistle. I did, so the clock will stop. And Ernie is telling them what he thinks. And we'll see what penalty he gives. It looks like uh, the Greens came around. And the Whites might have infringed them. And that's what it's like. This is why, obviously, you have two mounted umpires, because they can follow the play. They can see the angles of the ball and the direction and the distance between players. So they can see what's going on. Us up here, we're like, we've got the one angle. We're too far away to see the nuances of the actual change of the line. We often have an opinion, but it's usually wrong. But this time it's a 30-yard penalty. So it's an open goal opportunity again for Ernesto. I can't see him missing this either. Now I'm hoping that the Newport team are playing their, their slower ponies in the early parts of this match. Normally you save your best horses for the end of the game. So hopefully they'll speed up and give some Boston some more difficulties. But there goes Ernesto and an easy penalty for him. Four goals lead and we're only just at the beginning of the second chaka. This could be embarrassing for the home team. Maybe some Verve Clicquot would help. All right, changing ends. Boston going down. Comes out, Sam picks it up. Come on, Sam, let's have a goal from you. He looks upfield, Keating going in front of him, trying to move Ernesto out the way. That's what they need to do is keep him out the way. Sam gets a really good connection on that ball, except it's in the wrong direction. But he got the distance. I think this is the first hit in for Boston. So when the attacking team hits the ball over the back line, the defending team gets the hit in. Ernesto opens those shoulders, sends a strong shot up the field, trying to find Amanda. The two grey ponies are there, Rory first. Rory gets a bit of a backhander, not enough. Dan Keating onto it, the number three for Newport, just turning it. Amanda getting his way, but Dan's still got control. But you see, look at the Newport, there's three of them. They're all in each other's way. They need to be spread out like Boston. You've got to cover the field. Rory's taking it over. And there's no one for Rory to pass to. There goes Dan, finally. Can Rory get a pass off to Dan? He doesn't need to. Rory, oh no, it hit the post and went wide. Rory got bored of waiting for Dan, went for goal himself. Great shot, hit the post, goes wide. All right, in comes the ball again. So a little bit of pressure from Newport, that's good. Ernesto looks up, taps it. Where's he got? He's got Amanda covered by... Oh, that goes up, hits Rory in the butt, but it's all good. 
and Amanda pours onto it, just needs to tap it, doesn't? Enough pressure from Sam Shaw. Rory, little tail backhander, doesn't quite get who he wanted. Ernesto somehow wins that ride off with Dan, gets control of the ball, pushes it forward. He's just got to tap it again. He needs Dan to clear the way. He's, look at that, he's just going to walk it through the goal. He does walk it through the goal. Ernesto's making this look easy. Maybe we should give two and a half grand to Ernesto and get him to play in white. Those Boston people, they don't like losing nothing, do they? We're going to make him an honorary player. Now, what's Ernesto doing? Is he doing a courtesy change? In a USPA polo, we do allow people to change ponies during the chucker. We stop the clock and uh, we wait for them to change their ponies. Again, in this heat and everything, it's all about looking after the horses, horse welfare and all that stuff. And uh, so they get 40 seconds plus 25 seconds of throw-in time. So just over a minute to change their ponies. Sam's changing two. It's just a good thing to do, it's nice. And they're pretty quick, you know, they just jump off one, jump on the next. It's a great game to play, you know, you can all have a go at it if you want. Uh, there's uh, at the Newport website, you can just sign up to rent a pony, you'll get a lesson. Somebody will show you how to hit the ball. Maybe you get hooked on the game. That's what usually happens. It's in a real adrenaline rush. All right, they're all lined up. Clock will start again at the throw-in. White's going down towards the Jumbotron. Let's see if they can get there. Comes out in their favor. Sam trying to get it, but uh, Amanda Paul gets to the backhand quickly. Dan Keating's there to meet it. Dan's now going forward. He's going to have to do it under the neck. He's got Sam Shaw waiting up front. He's just going to tap it around. And Nesto is waiting for him. It's going to make it very hard for Dan to get around. He's got in a position. If Dan can just hit this ball, he's got Rory following it up. Rory surely can hit this. He can. Rory Tory. Dan Keating sets him up. Rory Tory finishes it. On... Um, the pony at named Kathy Got Even. I'm dying to find out why it's called Kathy Got Even. I mean, there's some fairly obvious answers, but there you go. Ah, right, teams back to the middle. Just a four goal gap. Still two and a half minutes of this second chucker. In comes the ball. Pops out in favor of Boston, but Dan's, oh, Dan. It's gonna say Dan's on it first. Luckily for Dan, Rory's covering. And Rory's got it, Rory. Big tail backhand, but nobody was really watching, and Ernesto Trotz is going to get there first. Dan's got a chance now. Can Dan play it? Yes, he can. Doesn't quite get the shot he needed. That's a better shot. He's on Pepper, one of his favorite horses. Oh, bounces away from him, and Ernesto picks it up for Boston. Ernesto in the corner, Rory with him. Ernesto's turning it around to the left, which he's allowed to do. Turns it inside Rory. Oh, Big shot from him, but big air shot. Rory trying to go down the line. And number four for Boston coming across the line, I believe. And I think the penalty will go in favor of Newport. And I saw Ernie hold up two fingers. So that could mean penalty two. We'll see where he goes. I think a penalty two would be generous, but it is inside the 40. So a 30 yard penalty isn't out of the question. And it looks like it will be a 30-yard penalty. So an open goal opportunity for Newport this time. And who will take it? I guess Rory probably will. Umpire back there. Ernie behind the posts in case Rory does one of those lofted penalties. He's just going to walk up again. No pressure. Boston away from the goal mouth. Slightly sideways there, but he's managed to get a good contact on the ball. Nice and straight. Another penalty shot for Rory. That's gonna be his like third goal, is it, for Rory? Third goal, yeah. Third goal for Rory. Four to seven. So, not a very good start for Newport, but they've come back better in this chucker. It bounces out in their favor. Amanda was on it. Rory gets to it. Amanda just tries to stop him. Ball bounces. 
nicely for Rory. Amanda's still there, gets the backhand. It's up in the air. Can Megan get a touch on it? No. And Ernesto's got control of it. He's looking around. He's going to hit it to Amanda, who's running on that grey pony. There is Amanda. Ball right in front of her now. Lovely little lofted shot from her. She's going to have to do a big under the neck or maybe a tail shot. Tail angle shot coming towards the middle. Didn't work out for her. Sam's on it. Sam short. Leaves it. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. He leaves it for Rory. Rory going across the field. He's got Amanda Poor trying to ride with him. I like Sam pulling in behind Rory. Dan needs to get on one side or the other. He's coming in behind Rory. 30-second bell. Ernesto's winning the ride-off. Gets the backhand. Sam picks it up. Megan gets in there. And I think there's a big whistle, which will end the chucker with an infringement. So the umpire has blown a whistle on somebody. I think that might have been on the, the Newport team. I'm not sure. So... We will go off, change their ponies. It's sort of a technical mini half time. They'll get five minutes to change their ponies and get back out. Give them a little time for a team talk. But we're not going to have our normal big half time thing in Newport until after this match.